Yo, what's happening there, young whippersnappers, you dirty little... <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to my channel. My name is Beastie, and in today's video, do hotels wash the bed sheets, the bedding, after you've stayed? Now, as you can see, just as fast as you please, we are on the trending tab, the best place on all of YouTube. There is nothing better than the trending tab. I mean, nothing ever goes trending on the trending tab. That should it be, right? Right, YouTube? This video is entitled, See Which Hotels Were Caught Not Changing Bed Sheets for New Guests. You know, I've often wondered this same question. Uh, do, do hotels actually change the bedding just because you stay for one night? That seems like it would be a lot of money at times. And when I'm on my many exploits, my many adventures as a Playboy billionaire, I have to stop at a hotel and, you know, I go over to uh, my hotel room and I look over and I see room number 69. T see two old people coming out of there and I'm like, Oh, hell no. Nah. You, you just, no, nah, that's disgusting. And then I wonder, do they actually change those sheets for the next person that comes in or not? But anyway, that's what we're about to find out. Do hotels actually change the bed sheets? or not. When you stay at a hotel, you expect fresh, clean sheets. But how would you know for sure? Well, our investigative team came up with a simple kind of ingenious test. They rented a hotel room, checked out, and then the next day checked into the exact same room under a different name. Did house cleaning change the sheets? Here's how a hotel knows whether or not to change the sheets. They walk over to your door at 1030 and they listen. And if they don't hear a lot of smashing and moaning noises, it's good to go. It's good to go for another night. We got to wondering, do hotels always change sheets when new guests check in? We booked ourselves into nine hotel rooms, and each time we sprayed this harmless, washable fluorescent paint onto the bed sheet using this stencil. You can't tell anything is written there, but turn on our UV lights, and presto, there it is. I slept here glowing bold and bright. I slept here? I is that what you came up with? Is this the creativity of Inside Edition? Of a uh, top of the line news team? You know what I would have done? If I were this news team, I would have gone over to the bed, grabbed up my spray paint stuff, and they say it's washable and harmless, grab that, and then drew a giant penis right across the bed. Giant old dill. That way, if it's not washed, not only would the shock value be there, oh, it's not washed, but then they would see this giant spray paint penis across the bed, and they'd feel bad. But, but of course, this isn't YouTube, this is real life. At the Candlewood Inn and Suites in Manhattan, we sure left our mark. Oh wow, there it is. I slept here, nice and big. Then we checked out. It should have been clear to any maid that the bed had been slept in. The next day, we booked the exact same room, but under a different name. I made it for you, sir. Great. Wait, 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 you, you booked under a different name? Well, why? It doesn't even make a difference. They're not expecting you to pull a sneaky trick like this. Oh God, wait, you're checking in again? And you're going to the same room, number 69? Oh God, hold up, one minute. Hey, listen, get up there and change the sheets. They're a secret news team. They have no idea you're with the news. They have, they don't know anything. Why why go under a different name or something? I mean, oh, you're trying to make this more suspenseful than it has to be. As long as they're being all stealthy with this, you know, they should have had a couple Lamborghinis pull up in front of the building, Mission Impossible music kicks in, and then somebody lowers down from the top of the building with a grappling hook, and then pew, 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 start sniping models as they get out of their car. You're just investigating if they change the sheets. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, here we are back at the Candlewood Inn and Suites. We stayed in this room last night. We rechecked in. Let's take a look. These should be clean sheets. Let's see. Disgusting. Oh my goodness, germophobia. They didn't change the sheets. You know, I imagine most of these places do not change the sheets. And if you found your hotel on Travago, I guarantee you the cheapest hotels do not wash their sheets unless there's like, you know, an orgy of people showing up. The floors start vibrating and you come in and the walls have been painted a whole new color of jizz. Then I imagine they would wash the beds. But most people, most of the time, probably not, dude. Probably not. And let's be honest. We, we knew that. I mean, we knew that was true. The, the hotel hotels that I stay at when I have to, we're talking about you get a mattress, a, a Folgers coffee can to pee in, and that's it. These sheets are dirty. Look at this. I need a manager up here. I'm Ann Mercagliano with Inside Edition. We want to just show you something on the bed. Okay. This sheet hasn't been changed. Why weren't the sheets changed? Okay, I... I expect them to be changed every day, and that is a policy of our property. Hi there, I'm a biddy, and I'm asking you why the sheets weren't changed. 
you specifically. You're the reason this is a problem. And there's a giant thing that says I slept here. We're expecting a real answer from you. Why weren't the sheets changed, huh? You want to tell me? Oh yeah, I was out last night saving the world. She rips her shirt back. I have a secret identity. I'm Superman. What do you expect her to say? She's going to make some BS up. You're not going to get a real answer asking her. Oh, I'm sorry. We have a policy here. We're not supposed to change the sheets unless multiple people go into her room and they all come out naked drunk at 3 o'clock in the morning. Do you really think she's going to say that it was her fault? Fault or something like that? Was it just a simple mistake or is this a common occurrence? A dirty little secret in the hotel industry? I slept here. At this La Quinta Inn and Suites, not far from Central Park, we did it again spraying, I slept here on the bed sheet. And when we returned under a new reservation the next day, here we go. Look at what we found. And the proof is in the paint. Take a look at this. This is disgusting. They didn't change the sheets. And I need a manager right away. These are some really nice ass hotels. I mean, these, these probably did cost a decent amount to stay in. Again, the, the places I would stay since I'm a cheap piece of crap. Excuse me, I mean a millionaire playboy. Uh, I basically sleep wherever the price is the lowest. I shudder to think how many other people's bodily fluids I've come in contact with when staying at cheap hotels, whereas these are nice and they don't even change the sheets, so you're screwed if you're trying to find hotel deals. Hi, how are you? I have to shut the light. When he arrived at our room, he brought a maid with him. She claimed she cleaned the sheets. No Do you change the sheets every yeah. night for the yeah, guests? Yeah, yeah, well, of course. But when I showed them our sign, they both apologized. That's gross. <laughs> Oh, that's disgusting. That's gross. You know what else is gross besides them not changing the sheets? Brushing your teeth. Have you ever brushed your teeth with the toothbrush that's in the bathroom? Yeah, you're brushing your teeth with poop crumbs. You know that, right? Like, if you brush your teeth and your toothbrush is in the restroom where you take fat dubs, you're brushing your teeth with crap. No, nah, but no, nah, seriousness, I can imagine how gross these beds are because I'm not the only person that likes to sleep in bed and I, you know, I'm over there <laughs> like that coughing up my Ebola all over the bed, scratching my butt, farting, I grab the pillows, put them underneath my armpits, get all that armpit juice all over the bed. You know, some people sleep ass naked in bed and you got people doing the dirty in bed and stuff. You know, I'm just saying, I imagine a lot of these are gross and a majority of these hotels probably don't, you know, wash the sheets every day. So you may be getting somebody else's jizz up your armpit or something. You know, I'm just saying it's probably grosser than we actually imagine. At this residence in by Marriott, a hotel rated one diamond by the AAA, we sprayed the word yuck on the top sheet. There it is, yuck. And then I slept here on the bottom sheets. And this one's going right on the pillow. And for the pillows, how about the Inside Edition logo? The results light up the room. Let's see what happens when we check in the next day under a different name. Let's check the pillows. All right, looks like they changed the pillowcases. Let's check the top sheet, maybe it's clean. And yuck, exactly, this is a dirty sheet. Let's check the bottom sheet. Okay, another dirty sheet. I slept here. This is absolutely disgusting. Oh, this is disgusting? I'm pretty sure all of life is organic and gross to some nature. I mean, come on. When you're walking down the streets and people are coughing and farting and doing all sorts of stuff in public, you're breathing all of that in. You touch a doorknob, listen, a doorknob has got more gross stuff on it than a toilet bowl. That's actually true. Light switches and doorknobs can be more disgusting than a toilet. Yeah, that that's that's more gross than this, in my opinion. At first, the manager didn't want to talk about it. Sorry, I'm going to have to ask you to cut the camera, please. Why weren't the sheets changed? And we know those sheets weren't changed. I make it a custom to change every checkout room yeah. sheet. However, I do not know what happened in this situation. I will have to get you my general manager. Okay, but we could have slept on dirty sheets tonight. What do you think about that? Yeah, dirty sheets for a dirty whore. No, I, I'm, I'm just joking. I'm, I'm just joking. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, anyway, that's the end of this video. Um, They're basically, you know, trying to say, whoa, we had no idea that these places don't clean their sheets. I, I pretty much knew this. You, you could bet your sweet ass cheeks. They're not going to wash every set of sheets and pillowcases for every new person every day. More than likely, they wash the sheets at the end of each week, you know, or something along those lines. I, I don't know, but uh, yeah, next time you get a hotel room and you think about the fact 
there may have been 60 old men in one bed banging it out. Yeah, you better think about that. And next time you brush your teeth, also think about that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and peace out.